Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Since this time of year we are being bombarded with all of the new holiday makeup, I decided to revisit some of my old favorites. So today I'm getting ready using some of my all-time favorite holiday products, but there's a twist because I'm also going to be incorporating a lot of skincare. So the end result or what I'm hoping to achieve will still be very festive and glamorous, but skin focused. And today's video is sponsored by Dalba. You've heard me talk about them before in their first spray serum. This is such an incredible skincare product because it's so versatile. And they did send over a fresh bottle for me to share, which is a good thing because I think I'm nearly finished with the original bottle. In case you're not familiar, Dalba is a premium vegan skincare line centered around their antioxidant-rich signature white truffles. They're harvested in Alba, Piedmont in Italy, which is where the name Dalba comes from. They're rich in vitamin C, B12, minerals, amino acids. So that's the core ingredient found in all of their products. Until recently, this was the only product I'd ever tried from the brand, the White Truffle First Spray Serum. But they sent over a few additional skincare products and I don't have any skincare on my face, so I'm going to begin with my skincare routine. This is the Double Layer Revitalizing Serum with White Truffle. This is going to give the skin a boost of hydration and nourishment. It contains the white truffle extract, avocado oil, sunflower seed oil, and chia seed extract. You can see it obviously needs to be shaken up a little bit first. It's basically a concentrated version of the first spray serum. So these pair beautifully together. And it's not oily, it's not heavy at all. It feels incredibly lightweight, so you can layer the serum. You can use this in the morning or the evening. I think it's really nice in the evening especially to layer this first. It smells so nice and fresh. Lightly floral, but it's so pretty. And all of their products are clinically tested for sensitive skin. So if you're irritated easily, you can still use all of these products. My skin has been so dry. I have never had dry skin in my life, but lately, I don't know what's going on. This feels amazing. And you can see it's already giving a really pretty glow to the skin. If I wasn't feeling so dry at the moment, this combination, just these two products would be perfect beneath makeup. The double layer revitalizing serum and then the first spray serum. But because I am so dry, I'm gonna show you this cream as well. This is the White Truffle Double Serum and Cream. And it's a really interesting product because you can customize. On one side you have the serum, on the other side you have the cream. Both contain incredible skincare ingredients and depending on how much moisture and hydration you need, you can change the ratio. If hydration is needed and your skin type is oily, you wanna go in with two parts serum, one part cream. If your skin type is more combination and you need that water oil balance, you can go in with equal parts serum and cream. If your skin is feeling incredibly dry and parched, you can go in with two parts cream, one part serum, and this will give you that extra moisture boost. Just applying a little extra cream on my cheeks because they're feeling so dry, red, irritated. It feels so smooth. I'm gonna do a really light layer of the combination on the rest of my face. Here's another unique skincare item, the Double Serum All-in-One Multi Balm. I love the idea of a serum in a balm. It's portable, you can apply throughout the day, you can apply it anywhere you need a little extra boost. You could apply this as a highlighter, a lip balm. It works on neck, eyes, lips, forehead, anywhere you need to apply this. Elbows. It looks like a giant chapstick, but it's actually two serums in one. So you can see the outer serum is more of a clear balm and then the center is yellow and the main ingredient in the center is vitamin C. So this is going to be brightening as well. For now, I'm just going to dab a little bit underneath the eyes. This is going to give us extra hydration so the concealer should lay really smooth. Another pro tip when layering your skincare is to use a very small amount of each product. That way it doesn't become too heavy on the skin. But these products are really meant to be layered. So it doesn't get too greasy or feel too heavy. Your skin just looks really glowy and hydrated, very fresh. I do love my first spray serum, but there is something so ingenious about a serum stick, a portable balm. 
I mean, you can throw this in a travel bag, throw it in your makeup bag, your purse for the day. If you get really dry throughout the day, this is amazing. It's so versatile. And the last prep step before we begin with the makeup, I'm going to spritz on the best-selling first spray serum. You can use it as a prep mist, a setting spray. You can use it throughout the day and it just hydrates the skin. It leaves a beautiful glow. If you've been trying to achieve that super trendy viral glazed donut complexion, this is the product right here. It's like glazed donut in a bottle. That's why I love it so much. Gives you that really natural glow. Not a glow that comes from shimmer or highlighter, no glitter, but just a healthy natural glow and it's good for the skin. Now, all of the skincare and prep work is gonna pay off because today I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Stays all day and night. This is a very full coverage, long wear foundation, and it has a matte finish. So prepping the skin accordingly is really key with loving this foundation. And I do like a full coverage matte foundation, but you have to balance it out. Otherwise, it's going to look really dry and crepey. This foundation dries down really quickly on the skin as well. So it's really going to help having all of those emollient ingredients underneath. That way it applies much faster and it just glides on a lot easier. I still want the makeup look to be very skin focused. So I'm going to use a very small amount of product. It's a very full coverage foundation. So even when you use a small amount, definitely has coverage but I think it will look really pretty with all of the other holiday products we're gonna to use today. I think I've applied half a pump to my face and it's covered the entire thing. And that's because it's able to glide on so much better it still has so much coverage, but I don't think I've ever seen this foundation with so much glow and luminosity. I did one full pump on the back of my hand and look how much product is left. For concealer, today I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer. This also contains skincare and I just love the texture and consistency. I knew we were doing full coverage foundation, so I didn't also wanna layer a full coverage, really heavy concealer. I would say this has medium coverage. It's nice and brightening, which I definitely need. You already know the drill. We're not gonna blend it out right away. Instead, we're just going to lightly pat, kind of, kind of start the blending process, kind of move the product to all of the areas where I want extra brightness. It's going to look a little bit crazy at first, but we just kind of want this to settle down dry down, get a little tacky. Now that my concealer has had a minute to dry down a little bit, I'm going back with the White Truffle First Spray Serum and I'm gonna mist my face very lightly. And now I'm going to completely blend out the concealer and I'm going to have so much more brightness underneath the eye. I don't wanna get rid of my glow entirely, but I do need to set my concealer, so I'm going in with the Chanel Loose Powder, of course. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I love this palette. And I received a lot of questions about this color combination because I ordered the customized palette directly from the Hourglass website. So it has the tiger artwork, but then on the inside, this is the color story. So this is going to look very different from the palettes that are available at Sephora but they're all incredible palettes. I just personally love the Tiger and I loved this color combination. And this is my favorite Hourglass holiday palette. I've been collecting them for the past few years, but this color story is the best, I think, for my skin tone. I just think the combination is the most flattering. So I'm going in with this today. It has such a pretty warm bronzer and it does have a little luminosity to it, but it's kind of like a champagne gold sheen. So it doesn't look muddy, it doesn't look dirty on the skin, and I'm just going to tap a little bit of this. Trying to diffuse as much as possible. I'm going to be really light-handed and build it up. 
I still want the makeup to be skin focused, so I don't want it to look as if I have heavy makeup on my face. Need a little color restored, but I think this is perfect. Just a light bronzer. I could have easily used either of the blushes in that Hourglass palette, they're beautiful. Or the Shantakai Pearl Blush from, I think, last year, which was so nice. Instead, I'm going in with this Dior blush. I believe this is two years old. This is the Rouge Blush Golden Nights. Do you remember that collection? And I have to be honest, I don't think I've touched this since two years ago. It's madness, the amount of old products that I have. I'm sure it's fine to use today. It's a really beautiful shade. It's a very pale pink. It has a slight sheen to it. It had a snowflake design embossed on top. Such a pretty shade of blush. I think it was this collection that made me realize that I needed to slow down on my spending and not pick up every holiday collection because I bought these pieces. They were beautiful. They are beautiful. But then a month, two months went by and I didn't even remember I had them. And it's a beautiful shade. I mean, look at that. But it's not overly unique. You know, it doesn't really add value to my makeup collection. I have plenty of blushes that are similar or would give me the same effect. But I was blinded by <laughs> the design. I bought into the limited edition frenzy. For highlighter, I pulled out this Chantecaille Pearl. This is the Pearl Lumiere. One of my all-time favorite luxury makeup collections. This compact is gorgeous. Truly a collector's piece and even the design, the little bird on the tree, so many details went into this and it feels really high quality. I always think Chantecaille does an incredible job during the holidays. It has a slightly iridescent undertone which I thought would be so pretty for a light glowy holiday look. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this on. I have a little luminosity coming up through the skincare. I'm showing through the foundation. And then I'm layering a little highlighter on top. And then when I finish with the first spray serum, it'll act like a sandwich. So it will kind of bring out the highlight. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to purchase any other holiday makeup this year. I feel like I've done a pretty good job. But I am curious to know what your favorite launches, what your favorite collection is, or if there's anything that you're still looking forward to. Choosing an all-time favorite holiday eyeshadow palette was pretty tough, and I specifically left all Chanel products off today's list because I'm planning to do another video in the future where I look back at all of the past Chanel holiday collections and pick out my favorite things. But I loved this Smoky Eyes to Hypnotize palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Besides Pillow Talk, which I even like this better than the Pillow Talk palette, I haven't used it as much. I'm really going through that Pillow Talk palette, I've hit pan on I think five shadows. But if I had to choose one favorite large palette, it's this one. I messed up the name. It's the Instant Eye Palette Smoky Eyes Are Forever. I just think these colors are so pretty. You have some warm tones, some cool tones, it's a little bit more versatile, you have some sparkle, but not no real crazy pops of color here. It's basically a neutral palette with the khaki green. With a fluffy brush, I'm going into this shade right here and I am going to buff this in the crease. I think Charlotte Tilbury has some of the best eyeshadows out there and I'm very sad that I have not seen a large eyeshadow palette this year. This is one of my favorite items from Charlotte. I always look out for it. With a flat brush, I'm buffing the same shade beneath the lower lash line. I just picked up a flat shader brush and I need to wet the brush, so I'm going to use the first spray serum. I'm going into this second shade right here. It's kind of a pearly pink. And this is going all over the lid. By using the spray serum, it's going to add a little extra sheen to the eyeshadow, which already has a metallic finish. I quickly filled in my eyebrows, did a little eyeliner and mascara, and I found another one of my favorite holiday highlighters. I think this is from last year, the Givenchy Prism Libra highlighter. It's a loose highlighter, which I think is somewhat unique in itself. 
But I figured I would pop a little bit of this directly on the center of the eyelid and I'm also going to use this highlighter for the inner corner and the brow bone. It has a ton of shimmer to it so I'm just popping that right in the center. Adds a little dimension to the eye because we kept the eye pretty simple today. Well, not smoky I should say. I'm picking up highlighter on a very small, I think this is actually an eyeliner brush. So I can place it right in the tear duct. I think it's actually more impactful whenever you're doing the inner corner highlight to keep it really close to the waterline. An angled brush or a flat brush or even a brush like this helps you be really precise with your placement. I'm using another brush to highlight the brow bone. This can be a fluffier brush. The final complexion step, Guerlain Meteorites. I love them. This is the Gold Pearls. I believe this is from maybe three years ago. I think I actually pulled out the wrong ones. That's okay. They're already in my hand, so there's no going back. I meant to pull out the Golden Land, which came in the black tin with the gold top. I don't know how I ended up with the wrong tin. That's okay. The Golden Land is a little bit more bronze than gold. Meteorites is a finishing powder. It's just like fairy dust. So you just kind of tap. And it just helps to give the complexion an overall glow. You look very angelic, kissed by a fairy. It's not meant to add coverage. It's not meant to be a highlighter. Just kind of softens the overall appearance of the makeup. For lipstick, I pulled out another Dior product. This is their famous gold lipstick. I don't think they came out with these this year which they've come out with the gold lipstick for the past few years. I mean, they had these when I worked at Nordstrom. It's been at least two, three years. And this was kind of the tradition. I always looked forward to these lipsticks. It's kind of sad, but that just goes to show how old these are. So I definitely need to use them. This is the Diorific lipstick in 066 Passion. It's a pretty bright pink. So I think I'm going to Mm, you know what? I'm going to line my lips first and then I'm going to go in with a small amount. I'm not going to coat the entire lip. This is very pink. Wow. I'm trying to blend it out with my fingers, give it a little bit more of a lived-in lipstick kind of look. I do really like the color. We're not done just yet. I'm gonna go back with more skincare, if you can believe it. We're creating the skincare sandwich. So now I'm going in with this double serum all-in-one multi balm. You can use this on the lips. So I am just going to use my finger to dab a little bit on top of the lipstick. That way it stays nice and moisturized. I just wiped it off to be hygienic and then I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna dab a little bit of this right on top of my highlight. So this is going to restore that glass skin glazed donut. I went in with a few powders, so I just want to make sure. On its own, this would be beautiful as a highlight. But if you layer it on top of a powder highlight, it just kind of amplifies it. And it's going to stay dewy, which will be nice. Not too close. This area, I always say, I like to keep matte but there's this little area right on the apple of the cheek that looks so cute, especially in photos. Whenever you have a little touch of highlight, it just beams. I 
I'm using my fingers, not a brush, so I can really spot treat. You could do a little bit on the chin. I tend to have an oily chin, <laughs> so probably not best for me. And finally, I'm gonna set the makeup using the first spray serum, and this will be the final step. And you really wanna know the best part of this overall look? My cheeks look so plump and hydrated. My skin looks really hydrated, but it does not feel greasy. It does not feel heavy. It doesn't even feel dewy. My cheeks feel supple. No, they feel hydrated, but they do not feel heavy and tacky. It's amazing because it gives you that glass skin effect. You would think that it would maybe feel like more of a thick balm texture, but it doesn't. I can touch my face and I feel like I'm not going to mess up the makeup. It's not going to budge. It's not going to slide all over the place because of too much skincare. It just feels plump. I cannot get over it. Even the top of the cheeks where I applied the serum balm, it feels really great. This looks so much better than a full face of powder products with nothing in between to add a little boost of hydration. Sweet Jazzy got a haircut today, but they kept her poof a little bit too long so she can barely see. She looks even more cute than normal if that's even possible. Can you see? It's a little bit too long. It's okay. We'll just brush it back. You're still adorable. Yeah, you're still sweet. I love you. She's my sweet girl. My baby. And that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked hearing about the incredible Dalba skincare, revisiting some old holiday products with me. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.